Greetings, thank you for joining me today. This is Editech Go, and in this video, we're going to take an in depth look at the all new 2021 Yamaha MT09. So the 2021 Yamaha MT-09 has landed and it is a significant update. It's pretty much an entirely new motorcycle from Yamaha. Um, kudos for them for going all out for this Euro 5. It's not just a Euro 5 emissions update people, this is a real a significant step up in the evolution of this bike. And um, yeah, so that, as you can imagine there's a whole load of improvements and updates that they've done which I'll try and help you get through in this video, including that wonderful front headlight and bet you're dying to, to get into that aren't you? So, yeah, we'll try and go through all of the details, all the improvements and upgrades in the video um, and see what is so exciting about this new MT-09. To start with, let's look at the engine. It's still a liquid called Crossplane Triple. Uh, displacement, however, has gone from 847 cc's up to 889 cc's. And Yamaha are promising this engine is lighter, quicker, more powerful, with more torque at lower RPM. Top end power of the new MT-09 has been increased by four brake horsepower. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot really, but the headline isn't really about the four brake horsepower, it's about the torque. Yamaha have increased the torque, and not only that, they've actually allowed you to access it peak torque at 1500 RPM lower than the current version. So this new bike, you're gonna be able to tap into more peak torque lower down the rev range. What does that mean in terms of real world riding? Well, it means that you're going to pretty much be able to ride into corners in whatever gear you want and ride out at whatever speed you want. Knowing that Yamaha have increased the torque, which is what made this engine so much fun to ride and this made this engine so infamous to riders around the world, knowing that they've increased that torque makes this a very exciting prospect. What will be interesting to see is whether Yamaha have used the new electronics of the MT-09 to smooth out the power delivery or whether they've kept the engine slightly unhinged and that power delivery slightly unhinged which is what made this bike so appealing to many. Elsewhere around the engine, Yamaha have added a new intake and a new exhaust to produce a beautiful sound that apparently enhances the feeling of acceleration. Elsewhere, new injectors give off increased efficiency, while optimised gear ratios and a new refined assist and slipper clutch match the higher output of this new engine. Moving away from the engine, we have a brand new chassis. There is an entirely new chassis for the MT-09 in 2021, uh, which Yamaha claim is more compact and it is stiffer as well to give improved rider feedback. Up front, the new MT-09 gets brand new 41mm KYB forks with preload, compression and rebound damping adjustability. Looking after that new much straighter rear swing arm that you can see is a new KYB adjustable rear shock. Next up is the wheels. The MT-09 gets brand new wheels. Now, usually I don't pay much attention to the wheels. They're just, they're just there, aren't they? But these new MT-09 wheels weigh 700 grams less and they're designed in a manner that's spin forged as well. Um, designed to give outstanding chassis agility by decreasing the moment of inertia at the rear by 11%. Um, I think I understand what that means, but I'd love how much effort has gone into this new MT-09, even so much as you know designing an entirely new wheel for the bike. In terms of the way the wheels look, I mean they look great, don't they? The double spoke effect. Um, but just to see how much, you know, attention and you know and much development Yamaha have put in just the wheels, it's it's fantastic. We're not just getting a you know a, a standardized bike here. You know, there's a lot of thought and effort has gone into uh, building this bike, you know, rebuilding this bike from the ground up. While we're down on the ground looking at the wheels, let's move across to the quick shifter and the 2021 MT-09 gets an up and down quick shifter to compete with the likes of the Triumph Street Triple R. Now I do recall when test riding the MT-09 on the channel last year, um, using that quick shifter, it wasn't as tactile as for instance the Honda or a Triumph. Um, when I was going up the box with the foot, I really couldn't feel whether I was engaging it into gear or not. And it kind of left me second guessing and it wasn't as you know confidence inspiring as perhaps you know the uh, the Triumph or one of the Hondas I rode. Um, so I don't know about you, what's your experience riding with the, the quick shifter? Um, and hopefully with this new up and down quick shifter, uh, we get a much more tactile, more responsive feeling through the foot, um, you know, so we can have more confidence using this uh, new and improved engine. Standing up next to the MT-09, we can see this new bodywork has been stripped back and laid bare, all to give focus to this new engine and give focus to everything that makes the MT-09 work. 
I'd love to hear what you think about the uh, the bodywork. For me, it looks very you know robotic and mechanical, a very aggressive, a very aggressive looking machine. Up top around the fuel tank and the very minimal bodywork, uh, we can see this nice uh, glossy grey finish with accents of red. I do believe this particular colour is the Storm Fluo colour. There's going to be three colours uh, to choose from in total. The Storm Fluo, Icon Blue and Tech Black. Here we've had the blue and the black versions in the previous MT-09. So three colours to choose from, the grey, the blue and the black. So let's swing our leg over the MT-09 and you swing your leg over the MT-09 and straight away right in front of you, very excitingly, is that new 3.5 inch TFT display. I'm so pleased to see that there is a new uh, three and a half inch color display on the MT-09. It's now going to be going up against, you know, competing with the likes of the, you know, the KTM 79890, um, the Street Triple. Um, so we're now going to have a full three and a half inch color display, um, which has a bar type tachometer, which changes color as you go up and down the rev range. So as you're cranking through the gears, this display is going to put all colors of the rainbow uh, in your eyes so you can see what's happening with that, uh, that new engine. The display will give you all the riding information you could possibly need um, accessible through the switch gear. Now, from the photos, I think that Yamaha have changed and, you know, put a different switch gear setup on this new MT-09. Um, the reason I bring this up is because on the previous MT-09 and also on my MT-07, the, the, well, the MT range switch gears weren't very good. Um, they didn't have a very tactile kind of feel, especially the, the turn signal switch was very flimsy and it didn't kind of, there wasn't a, a noticeable ka-clunk when you kind of moved it with your thumb. So, you know, for me that meant when approaching junctions and corners, I would be often pressing, double pressing the, the turn signal switch to make sure it was off so hopefully um, Yamaha have improved the quality and the feel of the switch gears on the MT-09. Moving from the switch gear we go into the electronics and this new MT-09 gets a brand new six axis IMU plus lean sensitive rider aids. All developed from the top of the range R1 super sports bike, uh, the new MT-09 gets a compact six axis IMU looking after all the high tech rider aids including lean sensitive three mode traction control, slide control system, uh, front wheel lift control system and a braking control system. Now that is a lot of control systems. That's a long, that's a long list of control systems there. Uh, Yamaha claim this is going to be uh, a best in class electronic control package. It's going to give you complete control regardless of the weather or the surface conditions that you're riding on. Now, when I think of you know class leading electronics, I remember the waves that the uh, the KTM 790 made when that landed. You know, with all that electronics package to make you know sports bikes blush. All the journalists were saying. Um, but here we've got this new MTO with all of these new safety control systems to help you uh, you know ride your MT-09 to its fullest regardless of what weather and what surface you're riding on. So you're riding along and you want to access the brake you put your fingers over that brake cleaver and you access uh, this brand new radial mounted front brake master cylinder. Um, this is real race bred tech that the, uh, the Yamaha are putting into this MT-09 and they claim that this is only the second production Yamaha to benefit from this technology. Um, using this brake you're going to get a linear supply of hydraulic pressure to the four pot calipers. Um, they are both man mounted to a 298mm front discs giving outstanding braking performance with fingertip control. Coming to a stop, you're going to notice that this MT-09 is a bit lighter than the previous version. It's actually four kilos lighter than the previous uh, MT-09, and it is now the lightest uh, 900cc in the Naked class. So parking up the bike, let's take a walk around and let's address what probably everybody's thinking when it comes to this new MT-09, the new front headlight. Now, um, I've left this bit to last really, the headlamp. It was the first thing I saw, obviously it's probably the first thing you see when you see this bike. You know, the headlight is the face of the bike and when I first saw it I wasn't quite sure about it. Um, I think if I'm going to fall in love with this new MT-09, if I'm going to be smitten by it, it might not be on the looks. I mean, I like, I like the engine look and all the mechanical, the, it's a very robotic look, but the headlamp, it looks a bit bizarre to me. I think that, you know, I know on previous videos I've mentioned that, um, you know, I wasn't quite keen on the transformer face of the, this outgoing MT-09 that we currently have. But this new version, I don't know about you, but it looks quite, you know, again, I use the word robotic. It looks like, like a bit of a, a demonic android, you know, it looks like it's going to kind of 
the, the, the middle light's going to turn red and it's going to start, you know, chasing you down the street. For me, when I first saw this bike, I don't know if you've ever played the game, um, the computer game Mass Effect, and there's a character in that called Legion. I'll put a picture on now, and he kind of reminded me of that. And again, demonic android. So we've gone from Transformer to this new demonic android. Um, now, I would love to know uh, what you think about the look of this new MT-09. I, I can pretty much guess what you might say about the look. However, if you do like the look of this MT-09, then please drop a comment below. I think this MT-09, this new version, probably does need a bit of love and support right now after the bashing it's had on social media today. So if you, you know, if you do like the look of this bike, then please put a comment below. You know, what do you like about it? Now, after seeing the teaser, I was hoping that Yamaha would go down the route of the uh, BMW F900R. Um, and you can kind of see it would have a similar shape. It could fit quite nicely in there, but this new MT-09, yeah, it's um, a very distinct look and, you know, you've got to admire Yamaha for going such a different way to everyone else. This MT-09 is certainly going to stand out uh, when it comes to all the group tests and when it's parked up against all its competitors, you're not going to be able to miss the new MT-09. Elsewhere, I'm really pleased to see that there is a working pillion seat on this new MT-09. Again, this MT-09 is a roadster, you know, it's a sporty roadster, as opposed to, like, for example, a street triple, which is more of a kind of a naked sports bike. Um, so this is a, you know, this MT-09 has a working pillion seat. We've also got um, what I can see from the uh, video here is uh, LED turn signal indicators. So perhaps Yamaha have ditched the big bulbous indicators we've had for years. We now have um, LED tech in the, in the turn signals. And that about concludes all of the updates and improvements to this new uh, Yamaha MT-09. Um, I must admit, I was very surprised to see that this, this isn't just a mere update. This is not just a Euro 5 update like many other manufacturers are doing with their bikes. This new MT-09 is a real evolution of the model with a, with a completely new look, a new engine, a new chassis, new electronics. What more could you want? I mean, if you're in the market for a naked middleweight in 2021, then perhaps the MT-09 should be on your shortlist. But ultimately, it all comes down to the look, isn't it? Whether you like the look of this new MT-09. And like I've said, it looks impressive on paper. On paper, this should be a class-leading motorcycle without a doubt. You know, they've really raised the bar. Yamaha raised the bar in terms of the, the, the capability and the features of this new bike. But ultimately, again, it's down to whether you like the look of it. For me, if I'm to be smitten with this bike, won't be so much on the looks I don't think. I think um, I will be very excited to see what they do with this platform regarding the Yamaha XSR 900. You know that for me is a very exciting prospect. Yamaha have yet to announce anything about the, the Heritage range updates for 2021 but if if we're going to be taking some of the the tech and the the engine and the base and the chassis and putting this into a perhaps a new XSR 900 then you know that will get my attention. But that being said, I'll still be very excited to ride this new MT-09 for 2021. And who knows, the riding experience alone might just, you know, win me over and I can uh, probably live with the demonic android face. Um, who knows? But um, yeah, the, the new MT-09 is set to be uh, with the dealerships in March of 2021. So we have a few months to, uh, to wait before we can see it in the flesh. So please drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you are new to the channel, then uh, please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content and please give a thumbs up to support the channel. I've been Eddie Set Go. I hope you ride safe, stay safe. I'll see you next time.